assalamu alaikum dear students hope you all are fine today we have a uh, topic from our chapter number 11 rate and this is our lesson number 1 understanding rate so we have a, a question from our textbook page 229 this is our question number 1 before explaining question number 1 let me explain the unitary method what is the unitary method you are not familiar with this method let me explain this first what is the unitary method unit means one if the price of one thing is given and in question they ask us more than 1 then we multiply and if the price of more than 1 is given and they ask us about one thing price then we divide now we turn to the question we have a question number 1 a factory manufactures 90 cars per day per means for each per means for each each mean one now price or condition or the things for one is given here a factory manufactures 90 cars in one day now the question is how many cars does it manufactures in 7 day they ask us more than one day they ask us the cars manufactures in 7 days now we have one day manufactures cars are given 90 we have to find out car manufactures in 7 days now how we do this word problem we write it car cars manufactures n one day is equal to 90 90 cars now we find the seven days cars manufactures in seven days is equal to 90 multiply by 7 so 9 7 times 63 and 0 comes with this so we find that 630 cars are manufactures in 7 days 630 cars are manufactures in 7 days now students we have a question number 2 water flows out from a tap at a rate of 20 ml per seconds but 180 ml of water was collected from the tap what we have to find out we have to find out the seconds how many seconds had the water been flowing what we do first of all we know that per seconds the rate is given they given us the rate for per second that is 20 ml first we convert it into unitary method how we 
change 20 ml to 1 ml, then 180 ml. Let's suppose in 20 ml, the time is flowing for 20 ml is 1 second. But time of 1 ml, flowing water for of 1 ml is 1 by 20. And the time for 180 ml is 1 by 20 multiplied by 180. When you divide it, you get 9 seconds. We can do this question in an other way. That is, water flows rate is equal to 20 ml per second per second but the total water flows how many total water flows 180 ml but we have to find the Number of seconds. Number of seconds one eighty divided by twenty. When two divided by eighteen, we get nine. We get zero. We cut zero with the zero, and the answer is. 9 seconds. So, uh, the water flows or in other words, 180 ml of water flows in 9 seconds. Now, student, we have question number three. A bakery bakes thousand loaves of bread in five hours. At this rate, how many loaves of bread can it bake per hour? Per hour means in one hour. Remember, I told you about the unitary method. What was that? I explain you that when the price of more than one is given and they ask us price of one thing, then we divide. So, in this question, we have done our solution with division. So, we start our solution. A bakery bakes loaves of bread a bakery bakes loaves of bread in five hours is equal to how many loaves? Thousand. So, a bakery bakes loaves of bread in one hour. What I told you, we divide. 1000 divided by 5. When we divide 1000 by 5, we get 200. So we find that 200 loaves of bread are made in 1 hour.
Now we have question number four. The table shows the car, uh, parking rate at a multi-story car park. Two rates are given here. One rate is from morning 6 a.m. to evening 5.59 p.m. The rate is $1.28 per hour. It means that if we stay from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., we must pay dollar 1.28 and if we stay 6 a.m. to 7 then 7 to 8 2 hours we uh, must pay 1.28 2 times and if we stay third hour here in the morning if we stay third hour then we must pay 1.28 more but the different is in the evening if we stay 6 p.m. to 5.59 a.m. evening to morning we just pay $2.25 for per entry it means if we stay the whole night for 12 hours if we park our car for 12 hours, we just pay 2.25 for one time. But the different situation in the morning to the evening, we must pay for every hour. What is the question? How much does it cost to park from 4 p.m.? to 6.30 p.m. 4 p.m. lies in the first situation. 4 p.m. to 6.30. 6 p.m. 4 to 6 lies in the first situation. It means in the car park for two hours here. And 6.30, 6.2, is the one entry here. 6 to 6.30 is one entry here. That is $2.25. We must add $2.25 for 30 minutes also. How we do this question? We start our question like this. Rate for four PM to six PM. Two hours here we multiply two by dollar one point two eight. The answer is two point five six two point five six dollars but we must add six thirty rate four six pm to six thirty pm is dollar 2.25 we have to find how much does it cost we have to find the total cost total cost is dollar 2.56 plus dollar 2.25 when we add both we get 4.81 dollars so um, the man or the car uh, the someone who is uh, park his car there 
for two hours and thirty minutes, he must pay dollar four point eight one. This is how we solve our question. Hope you all understand this question, and um, your unitary method. Uh, you very well know about the unitary method, and um, this explanation will help you to solve the questions. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much.